Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In this video, we take a look at the redesigned proxy workflow in Flame Premium 2016 Extension 1. As part of the redesign, careful thought was given as to how proxies are used in a modern day workflow. In other words, as storage gets faster, most systems can play their deliverable resolutions. So for general work, proxies can be totally optional. But when a production approaches its final stage, composites could be quite complex and time is very mission critical. So this is when flame artists may need additional interactivity and it needs to be on demand. In previous versions of Flame Premium, these decisions had to be made at the very beginning when creating a project. So projects were proxy based. They were either on or off. So if you had a one hour sequence and you just wanted to boost interactivity for one visual effect shot, you still had to generate one hour's worth of proxy media if you wanted to keep it all in one project. It worked, but the flexibility wasn't there. So the whole concept of project based proxies was removed. In Flame Premium 2016 Extension 1, the proxy workflow offers two options to get more interactivity and performance when you need it. Deciding which option to use is based on what you're doing. If the setup is complex and things are slowing down, you can switch to a proxy quality mode without generating any proxy media for any sources. So you should get better interactivity and performance when working within the setup. But if the slowdown is caused by multiple streams of high resolution media, you can also generate proxy media for all sources in that setup. You can generate proxies for source media used in a clip, multiple clips, a single batch setup, multiple batch setups, specific segments in a sequence or the entire sequence. The proxy generation is very granular. You can also selectively flush and delete proxy media if you choose to do so. So with all these changes in Flame Premium 2016 Extension 1, all projects are now proxy capable. This means you can switch to proxy quality or even generate proxy media for any clip, setup or sequence at any time in any project. This can be on import, general interaction and even rendering. Think of it as proxy quality and proxy media on demand. So let's look at the different areas of the application where this comes into play. Starting at the project creation, you will note a few differences. In the proxy settings tab, you will still have the option to set the proxy quality. A half, a quarter or an eighth of the original resolution. You can also choose the scaling filtering as before. You'll note that the proxy on and off button is gone. However, you have these new options to help you along. This button labeled generate proxies by default mimics the old proxy on behavior. When enabled, media imported or generated by Flame Premium will generate a proxy. The big difference is that this is not an on and off switch for proxies in the project. When this button is on, it simply enables a bunch of proxy generation preferences throughout the software. You can easily toggle these preferences in the software at any time. This is normally off by default. Finally, the conditional option is still there to ensure that you don't generate proxies for small resolution media where it is unnecessary. Once your project settings are ready, create your project and start working as you normally do. So we've spent a bit of time working on our sequence and various batch setups. We've now got to a point where interaction is slow because of the setup complexity and time is running short. So in order to boost interactivity and performance, we can look at two options offered by the proxy workflow. The first use case is when you have a scenario where the processing operations are slowing the software. In this batch setup, I am using one 6K source clip that is propagated through the flow graph. Flame Premium can easily handle the media, but all the processing effects are slowing the interactivity. To speed up the processes, click the proxy quality pull down menu and choose proxy. 
This is mapped to control P. The viewer is now surrounded by an orange border indicating proxy quality mode. Now zoom in very close on the image and toggle proxy quality on and off. You might be able to see the difference between the full resolution and the proxy quality. So the media and processors are scaled down to the proxy quality in real time. When we scrub the time bar again, the interactivity and performance is significantly improved. But please bear in mind that even though the nodes show a proxy resolution, we have not generated any proxy media in this setup. To reiterate, if the media is not causing performance issues, just switch everything over to the proxy quality. I'll disable proxy quality for now and switch to the second use case scenario. When we look at this flow graph and expand the batch group, you can see that we have four 4K sources and two 6K sources. These are composited and combined together into a 4K result. Because we are calling up so many high resolution streams at the same time, the performance and interactivity is hit at the media level as well as the process level. Scrubbing the time bar is delayed significantly. You could enable the proxy quality mode with Control P. This will attempt to scale everything into proxy quality mode on the fly. This will only give a tiny speed bump because we are pulling so many high resolution sources at the same time. So to help with the media bottleneck, we'll generate proxy media. Proxy generation is selection based and you could do one clip at a time if you want. But a quicker way is to select the batch group and call up the contextual menu. In the media menu, you will find generate source proxies. This will send all the media within the batch group to be processed as proxy media. This can be monitored at the bottom left of the interface. And you can also click the arrows for the console if you want to see more detail. Now you can carry on working while proxy media is generated since this is a background process. Once the proxy generation is complete, ensure you're in proxy quality mode. Now scrub the time bar. You can see what a big increase in interactivity and performance. This is because we are using the proxy media and the processing operations are also scaling to proxy quality. So this is very different from what you may have been used to in previous versions of Flame Premium. You set your proxy settings at the project creation and you only use them when you need them. Now let's take a quick look at the proxy workflow in other aspects of Flame Premium. Turn off proxy quality and switch to the media hub. When it comes to importing, you can choose to generate proxy media on import. So here I have some 6K material. The preview panel shows the settings and resolution I've chosen. Before we import anything, look at the general import options. The cache source media option is still present, but there is also a generate proxies button. If you had enabled the proxy generation button when creating the project, this button would have been on as a standard. However, I've created the project without using the option, so all generate proxies buttons will be off by default, including this one. But let's say you want proxy media on import, so enable the generate proxies button. Now ensure the clips are selected and drag them into the media panel. The clips appear with a pending render message in the media panel and the backburner services process the proxies in the background. Similar to working in batch, you can still access the full resolution media while the background services process the proxy media. The frames will populate the clips as each proxy is generated. So as long as this button is enabled, you will generate proxies on import. I'll disable this button and switch to a new location to import media. Now I just want to import media without generating proxy media to do a comparison. So you can mix and match media with or without proxies. Just by holding ALT and clicking on the clips will show which ones have proxy media and which ones don't. 
You can also see the proxy resolution in the events list of the conform area when you have an open sequence. And the proxy resolution will also be displayed in the expanded media panel. So switch to the timeline area and expand the media panel with SHIFT tilde. You need to ensure that you are in list view to display all the clip metadata. If you scroll the list horizontally, you will see the proxy resolution column. And now this is a good point to distinguish between clips with proxy media and clips without. Clips with proxies will have the proxy resolution displayed in the column. Clips without proxies will just have a dash. Now if you want to generate proxy media, it's the same as we did earlier. Call up the contextual menu over a clip or clips. Choose the media menu and choose Generate Source Proxies. And off it goes. The proxy resolution will be displayed in the column. I also want to point out the option to flush source proxies in the contextual menu. So if you want to delete the proxies to free up space, select the media and just choose this option. The dash will reappear in the proxy resolution column confirming that no proxies are associated with the media. Now press SHIFT tilde to reduce the media panel. I'll take these four clips and edit them into a 6K sequence. Now I'll hide the media panel and switch to the player. To the bottom right of the player is the proxy quality pull-down menu. This is identical to batch. So scrolling through this sequence will currently be displaying the full 6K resolution. Toggle to proxy quality or press CTRL P. When we scrub the sequence, some media will scrub very fast and others will be slower. This is because some of the segments are using generated proxy media and the other segments are being scaled to proxy quality in real time. This matches the two proxy workflow options we saw in batch. So you can drop everything to proxy quality on the fly to improve interactivity. Or if you need even more performance, then you can go ahead and generate the proxy media. Now the proxy workflow also affects another aspect of Flame Premium. Because proxies are now essentially clip-based, you can also control what gets rendered. In the sequence, if you click the drop-down menu associated to the render button, you can choose what to render. Full resolution, proxy or full resolution and proxy. If you go to the general preferences menu, you will find the proxy rendering options. Here you can define the default rendering behaviour with regards to proxies. And as we touched on this at the beginning of this video, if the Generate Proxy option was on in the project creation, then it would be set to render full resolution and proxy. But you can always change this at any time. I just want to point out that if we go back to Batch, there is also a new rendering option. In the Render drop-down menu, you can now choose to generate proxies on Render or not. The final option I'd like to show you before concluding this video is if you go to the Media Hub and look at the Archive settings, you also have the option to generate proxies as an archive is being restored. So to sum up, the proxy workflow has undergone a major change in every part of Flame Premium. Hopefully, this is more efficient and faster for you to use. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.